Okay, so welcome to Yoga with Smiles from Brindavan Yoga and Smile Makers Training. And um, as usual, we start with a smile tip for the day. So, and I like to start as usual with a story. Ready for a quick story? Okay, today I'm going to talk about a true story. With this, I read about this in a, one of my motivational books many years ago and it prayed. It had a huge impact on my life about 20, 25 years ago. So uh, there is a small town boy and he uh, used to sing and do stand-up comedy in, you know, in America in one of those small, uh, you know, cafes. And this is many years ago. And uh, one day he was spotted by a very famous Broadway casting director and he got a chance in, to act in Broadway shows and before he knew it he was big time entertainer taking part in theatre and movies and uh, you name it he was there and by 31 he had almost everything one could ask for name, fame, uh, you know every single thing uh, what is considered as successful in normal life. Now I'm going to talk about another 31 year old woman. Uh, her name, I will tell you later. Uh, she was, you know, loved adventure sports and she used to go often for trekking and very fit and fine she was. And uh, at 28, she had a, I think, she had a very, very bad paragliding accident and she was paralyzed downwards and doctor told her she had to spend the rest of her life on a wheelchair. So at 31, she's sitting there on a wheelchair, accepting the fact that she's going to be strapped to the wheelchair for the rest of her life. Now, between this boy and this girl, okay, if you had a choice and you would like to have the life that they had, whose, whose life would you choose? The 31 year old boy or the 31 year old girl? Obviously, if we had a choice, we would choose the life of somebody who had name, fame, everything. Now I want to continue, this is a true story and I want to continue it even further. What happened is, Meryl Hamilton is the name of the girl. She, when she sat in the wheelchair, she realized that the wheelchair was not at all user friendly. You know, there were certain aerodynamics or whatever you call them, which was not uh, easy for her to maneuver herself. So she kept making changes in that. She had the facilities and the resources to do so. And she kept you know, managing that and she went on to become the owner of the world's, one of the world's biggest wheelchair manufacturing company and she won a lot of uh, awards for wheelchair tennis also. You can look her up. Her name is Marilyn, Marilyn Hamilton. And what happened to the so-called successful, uh, you know, that... Uh, entertainer and the TV artist and the theater artist his name was found his name is John Belushi and he was found few years later in a hotel room dead because of overdose of drinking drugs and all that both are true stories you can look them up and what is it about the point which I'm asking you is what is it about some people who seem to have all the advantages in life and they just fritter it away and some people who have no so-called advantages in life but they end up making fantastic success stories themselves. Where does the difference lie? Any idea? So today I'm going to bring across the point of reaction versus response okay so 
any time any sudden situation happens to you, a critical incident or whatever you call it, there are two ways. The initial, the initial emotions that come out, oh God, why me? Anger, grief, horror, sadness, you know, fury, rage, whatever emotions come up. The initial emotions that come out are a reaction, which is normal. We are humans. It's normal for us to react that way. But then, one of the signs of being emotionally intelligent, that's the topic, emotional intelligence, is you being able to talk differently to yourself. And you can, what the difference between those two stories I told you is the way they talk to ourselves. So our initial reaction is always disempowering emotions, emotions which do not empower us. But you can look at the same situation in an empowering way. And in spite of whatever happened, you can look at the situation with hope, with confidence, with Anything, any, any, any positive emotion you can put to it and you can respond to it. And that, that, that behavior of yours is not called reaction. It is called response. Okay. Response is basically when you are in control of the emotions instead of your emotions being in control of you. Make sense? Yeah. So, so that is a small tip for today. Okay, we don't have to wait till we have critical incidents in our life, you know, to understand the meaning of reaction versus response. Okay, in your day to day situations, somebody says something, somebody behaves in a certain way. And most of the time, how we are is that we are in reactive mode. If you can just be aware that these reactive emotions, okay, are not going to serve you any purpose and initially it's all right to react because we are human I want to cry I cry I want to get angry I get angry but then after some time if you are able to be aware of it and change your reaction to response by seeing a different perspective of the same situation then that is a sign of emotional intelligence I have spoken a lot about emotional awareness. I have spoken a lot about emotional management. But this is called emotional intelligence. Something that you require in, to develop in yourself. Some kind of a self-discipline where you have the ability to change your disempowering emotions into empowering emotions. Okay. So reaction versus response. That is a smile tip for today. I hope it is worth it. Have a great, great yoga session next. Thank you.